destroyed the Oricon. Your way of life. Who do you hunt, Shadow, to cleanse your despair and their blood? Dando! Sever their heads, yet they rise again. Someone has hidden the Tenno essence, their truth from you. Lotus! I know where she hides the Tenno heart. A womb in the sky, forbidden to my kind, but where you will take me. Sentient destroyer of worlds. By your hand, expose their heart. By my edge, leave it beating from its nest. Hey there, folksies. Do the Dutch here, and I've got some more Warframe here running on the background while I've got some information to share with you about how I've been continuing being obsessively playing this game. Now, I've recently picked up on the, uh, well, second Dream Quest, which is a very rather interesting, much more storyline based, uh, well, quest, which is a series of missions which are the standard ones that include this particular one, which is the first one, which I will get into later, that involve you uncovering some, well, basically a threat to you and every Tenno in existence, considering that the sentient Han Hao is apparently on the loose, and, well, he's got his set, he's uh, got his eye, his, well, so-called eye set on you, and he's decided to call on the help of everyone's favorite stalker, the stalker. So, we're out there to do it, and... I'm here to talk a bit about that quest, and I know a bit how it works, so it's it really is an amazing quest, which I really am hoping to conclude as quickly as possible. And what you will be seeing on the background is me going for the first quest in mostly melee-style fighting, which I really, really enjoy since it's with the whole combo system. But uh, besides that fact, it's an amazing thing. I'm running it on my Excalibur, which is rank 30. He's pretty well beefed up. I've got the pr proper mod set up, so he works very well with a sword style. But anyway, I digress. I wanted to talk about the second quest and about how D's been doing it and a bit about the game and what I still like and a few of the gripes I have with it. So, a few of the things that I wanted to say about the second quest is definitely that DE, Digital Extremes, is clearly heading towards a much more, you know, fighting... Uh, well, not fighting style, but a storyline that they really want to more expand on the whole Tenno thing, which in my honest opinion, is a great thing, because the storyline is very vague for a game. I mean, there we don't know much about how the world came to be as it is, except, well, there's a threat, and we need to stop, and we're considered to be something that needs to be expunged, and apparently our foes really, the greener see it that way, the corpus just wants, uh, well, salvage us, because they think we're just pieces of hardware to be, well, turned into whatever they want to, and there's the infestation, which is just, you know, kind of like a plague, but the whole thing is that this is really more opens up a much more storyline. It's also much more a bit more personal with you and the uh well with Lotus, which I really enjoy seeing. But there's more to it than that because there's a lot of things that we're going to uncover at the end of it. I have heard of it. I have not seen it. I'm really looking forward to how this is going to conclude. I really, really am. I will show more of this post-commentary about how I've been going through this. As you can see, I'm mostly running this on a stealth style, which is mostly keeping myself in the dark, so I'll be shutting down terminal uh, the alarms as quickly as possible from the ter terminals and trying to stay out of sight and not rushing through it as some people do, which I really gripe, which I will get onto later a bit about some of the negativities I've got, not necessarily just with the game, but with the mentality of some of the players of the community. So so the second quest is a really amazing storyline here that really plays more into, well, Lotus, you as a Tenno, not just as the Warframe, but the Tenno in general, and Han Hao, which is involving the Sentience, which is an enemy that is so vague, we know so little about, and yet we are going to uncover some things about it, which really shows already with the previous quest that was before this one, let's say the sort of, uh, well, yeah, no, the sort of introductory quest uh, involving the Sentient, which was Nata, which was a little less, which also involves, you know, uh, of course, Lotus, but this one is a bit different, so 
it's much more about how you get involved. And I like that because it finally gives us some more backstory about the whole thing. So I also wanted to talk about some of the gripes I have about Warframe. And this mission is the best example of one of the slight gripes that I do not have with the game in general. It's more of the gripe that I have with the community, which unfortunately involves this particular mission, which is a spy mission. What it mean, basically means is that you're running through the traditional layout of some of the environments, whether the corpus or the infested. I don't know, actually know if it does involve infested, but and the grenier, and we need to collect these data files from consoles. And you can get some sweet rewards. It's, of course, part of the objective, so you can't really bunk it up. At least not two out of two out of three need to be successful. Now, I don't really mind this mission so much in general as in and of itself. I do mind usually the people I get stuck with during these missions. Because usually the ones I get run stuck with are on a alert and they want to get a rush through it. They want to continue on with whatever they were doing. And it tends to end up that they want to rush through everything, including the part where you need to, you know, evade the security, open up the doors without triggering the alarms, you know, the whole thing to, that kind of more plays into the emphasis of the whole Space Ninja thing, which is stealthy play. Which I really try to do as much as possible in the game. As you can see, stealth kills going around, which I really, really enjoy due to its, you know, kind of executioner style fighting. But... A lot of the players that I get stuck with tend to try to rush through it. Now, that sometimes works, because most of them are able to run, you know, they know the layout already, so they run and run. But then there's the part when we come to the console, which you need to unlock in order to get to the data. Now, you might be saying, what's the problem there? Most of them can't figure out the pattern. Most can't get the connections, you know. With the corpus, you need to line up the, you need to set up the lines properly so all lines are connected. Uh, with the corpus, it's those segments. They're all different, and unfortunately, not everyone gets that straight. You might be saying, get a cipher. I tend to find the guys who always tend to do it don't have those or don't want to waste it because they think they can do it. Then they muck up, and then, well, we lose one of the data. Now, one you can do, but two, and it's a fuck up. And even with alerts. Even one is not acceptable. So, and in this particular mission as well, I tried to run this with a group. One, the first when I finally did find a group because I mucked it up a few times on my own. So that's my fault. But then I got a group, and the guy just tried to rush through one of the energy grids, which immediately triggers the alarm and just knocks you back down, which basically just immediately ruined it. Now, this was a little part that I got to struggle with because I didn't really notice the entire environment, and I got stuck here, and I was like. Hmm, that thing is pretty big and obvious, the rotating uh, pod thing. So I was like, hmm, maybe there's a way that, that reveals the secret entrance into the segment I need to get to. So I was just standing on it, you know, I was maybe looking around, seeing if I could get into the tube, or maybe it opens up prematurely so I can get into it, you know, wall run up to it. And so I just waited for that thing to move on. Try to jumping on it, I missed, I get panicked, I try to, oh my god, I need to get on it before it gets in there, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, come on you stupid friend, and I get on it, and I think, yes, now I just need to wait to get to where I need to be supposed to go, uh, I do this, and then I discovered that it was a secret passageway just to the left of the door that I just needed to use to get in, this was way, <laughs> I literally spent two to three minutes looking around, this was so much easier than I made it to be, I took so long with this, and like I said, the spy thing is the problem because a lot of people keep rushing through this stuff, and then they get stuck at this door that they can't get open, and then we lose the data. And in this mission, you need to get them all. There is no, there is no, there is no, there's a zero tolerance on this matter. You are not allowed to muck it up here. You need to get it. And that dude just showed up. So I needed to run. I found it, got the data, got it out. And boom. Or I actually jumped out of it just to kill the guy. Kill him. And then, then I grabbed the data. So that's the gripe I got with the, well, not necessarily entirely the community, but the particular players that are in the community sometimes who just want to rush through things. Now, I get the rushing thing. You want to get through it as quickly as possible so you can see your next alert or get back to the invasions you were doing or just get back to whatever it was you were doing. But this is not a mission you can rush. This is something that a lot of players in Warframe tend to lack, and that is patience, which I can have 
as long as I know I can keep myself busy in that meantime. So usually waiting for groups is not my thing, but just, you know, patience that requires for perfect timing and all that, I'm completely acceptable to that. As you can see, I can... I may not be the most sneaky of Space Ninjas because I don't play a sneaky frame, but I can play quite well with even Excalibur because I've got him equipped with at least two weapons that are mostly meant for stealth play. And I went through this fairly well. There was no problem. As soon as I got all the data, I just got out. But this is the problem that I have a gripe with, with the community. And I will uh, discuss in a few other matters, probably in a future video because it's already getting close to being wrapped up, that I thought that it's very much that stealthy play is not meant for group for group stuff because a lot of the players do not know what to do or better said they just want to rush but sneaking can't be rushed that requires patience and i always say good comes to those who wait except that's not exactly a saying that usually tends to go with gamers most of them i'm not saying i'm the exception i can be quite uh, impatient myself, but I did enjoy this quest line. It's I'm far from finished. I just got the first mission done. I still have to do the others, but it's getting pretty high level, so it's kind of getting a little difficult. So this little part, I fucked this up more than once, and I didn't get there soon enough. But I got this. It's basically you know the wall running thing. Almost hit the grid. I narrowly escaped it. Got through. Job done. Got to the console. No problem. No touching in the screens. This it doesn't need to be rushed. If you have the patience, if you have the time, there's a lot less margin for error, and you'll probably make less of an error. I got my Cooper out with him. We got, also got me some loot just to say it in. And I just like the sword play. Even you can do this without melee weapons if you want, or better said, without ranged weapons, which was enjoyable. Now, just the the video is already starting to wrap up real quickly. So I just wanted to say that this. There's going to be a whole secondary post-commentary stuff about me, how I went through this. I enjoyed this. I'm probably going to enjoy the rest of it. I know, I've know i heard what's going to happen at the end. And I understand that a lot of... And I heard the reactions of the people from, you know, Warframe's uh, YouTube channel. And apparently it's kind of a mind-blower. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm also linking my previous video, which... Well, uh, of course, praise, has me praising this game mostly to the heavens. Soon after this, what, if you want to see what that game is, what that is like, click the uh, just click the that video, and you'll probably get sent through a link straight to it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this whole stuff. Hope you guys continue to watch uh, more of my videos. Other things are coming up as well. I got some other post commentary stuff in mind. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, hope you see you around more for uh, the rest of it to be continued. And bye bye. Listening. I will be discreet. The message you uncovered was an offer to help us. I do not trust the person who wrote it, but we are out of options.